Hello and welcome to another My Interesting Pictures video with some bad news just before Christmas. Well, I would have loved to bring you some rather good news from Germany for this year's Christmas, but you might have heard it in the news already. Germany is overshadowed by an attack happening last Monday in Berlin. So here's a small recap of what actually happened. On the evening of the 19th of December 2016, whenever you will watch this video, a lorry has been driven according to the police by a 24-year-old Tunisian man called, I need to check this, Anis Amri. Uh, and he was driving into a Christmas market with obviously a huge crowd of people in Berlin at the so-called Breitscheidplatz. Several people died and were injured by this attack. Furthermore, ISIS claims this attack as one of their own. And because so many details get updated constantly and so many facts are changing literally every hour or every day or every week, I don't really want to get into this sort of stuff more. But what I did for this video, I did collect a lot of reactions from politicians um, and also from people on the streets because for this video I also went outside to ask some people on the Christmas market here in Mainz what they think about that. But let's get to this later later and let's get into the official statements from politicians. So let's start with Chancellor Angela Merkel and her official statement and I need to read this out. Quote, we will find the strength for the life which we want to live in Germany, free, together and open. In these hours I first of all think of those people, of the death ones, the wounded ones and of their families, relatives and friends. I want you to know we all, a whole country, is united in deep sorrow. She obviously says more, which is why I linked the official statement in the description down below. Next up, we have the government spokesperson, Stefan Seibert, who said the following things on Twitter. And again, I'm reading this out, so quote, horrific news from the Breitscheidplatz. Chancellor Merkel is in contact with the Minister of the Interior and the governing mayor. Breitscheidplatz, we mourn the debt and hope the many wounded can be helped. Let's see what the chairman, Sigmar Gabriel, of the second biggest party, the SPD, in Germany said. That is a incredibly sad night. I am profoundly shocked. It is not the time for speculations. In these difficult hours, we are all from Berlin, or a person from Berlin. Our values, our freedom, are much more powerful than hate and the terror. Let's see what Horst Seehofer, which is the chairman of the CSU, which is the sister party of the CDU, where Angela Merkel is the chairwoman. CSU, by the way, is officially only existing in Bavaria, but Horst Seehofer is actually a major figure in German politics. I'm quoting. We owe it to all the victims, the affected, and the people that we rethink and readjust our immigration and security policy. Up next is a new and upcoming party, the AFD, the Alternative for Germany or Alternative for Deutschland, who is primarily uh, considered to be against Merkel and her asylum and immigration policies. Hashtag AFD, hashtag Gauland. Terror in Berlin is not an individual case and is linked directly to Merkel's asylum policy. The Zentralrat der Muslime in Deutschland e.V., or in English, the Central Council for Muslims in Germany, said, and again I'm quoting as always, the ZMD is profoundly shocked about the murderous attack at the Christmas market in Berlin, Charlottenburg. Breitscheidplatz. The head of the ZMD, Arman Mazuyek, and I hope I pronounce your name properly, said, We strongly condemn this deliberately executed act. We thank the police and all the rescue workers for their work and assistance. And as I said in the beginning, I also went out on the streets and mines to the Christmas market and asked the people what they think about it. And yeah, here are the answers. Jetzt steht im Internet Pleiten, Pech und Pannen. Der läuft jetzt da rum, gell? Und wenn jetzt wieder was passiert, sowas, und dann sind die ganzen Politiker und die alles, die haben das alles zu verantworten. Das ist meine Reaktion. Und das ist jetzt für die Angehörigen von den Leuten, wo umgekommen sind, das ist ein Schlag ins Gesicht, wenn die lesen, sie haben den schon im Visier gehabt und haben nichts gemacht. Das ist ein Schlag ins Gesicht von denen. Erstmal natürlich 
erschreckend äh, bzw. geschockt, das klingt immer ein bisschen übertrieben, war ich in dem Fall nicht. Eben, ähm, man hat es in letzter Zeit so häufig gemerkt, ich, ich persönlich merke manchmal so eine Distanz bei mir. Ja, das erste, was ich im Prinzip auch gemacht habe, bin ich auf den Weihnachtsmarkt gegangen. So ein bisschen aus Protest, ich weiß nicht, hilft keinem außer mir persönlich. Äh, ist dann vielleicht etwas, was man machen kann, äh, wenn man sagt, man entscheidet das für sich selbst, geht hin, unterstützt dann die Leute, kauft einfach mal was, was man sonst nicht gemacht hätte. Ja, ich war erstmal entsetzt, ne? weil äh, es war eigentlich schon irgendwie hat man schon gedacht, dass irgendwann mal was passiert, aber dass es auf diese Art und Weise dann an Weihnachten, vor Weihnachten passiert, das war schon äh, heftig. Für mich ist das irgendwo mittlerweile eine kranke Welt und ich finde das alles so nicht mehr in Ordnung, wie das alles so passiert, aber das sind halt Sachen, da kann man nichts gegen machen. Ne? Das passiert und hat uns aber nicht davon abgehalten, trotzdem auf den Weihnachtsmarkt zu gehen, weil wir sollten denen irgendwo die Stirn bieten und denen zeigen, mit uns nicht. Ne? So there you have it. Please let me know also in the comments below what you think about all of this and if you have even heard about it. Because as I know from my last video, you guys are from so many places here on earth and perhaps you haven't even heard about it. So let me know that in the comments below. So thank you very much for watching this latest My Interesting Pictures video. If you like the video, please make sure to like it and share it even if you consider that doing. Anyways, um, there's not much more to say other than, as always, stay interested to be interesting. Goodbye.